Please welcome W. Kamal Bell. <laughs> I'm making sure to smile and wave. <laughs> yes, that's right. Yeah. You gotta make sure you smile and wave. Yeah. I always think like it's so easy for you to wave because your hands must be up already. <laughs> yeah. In preparation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah. like you're waving with two hands. Yeah. <laughs> to be clear, uh, I'm a guest of the show. I'm not loitering. I just want to be clear about that. I've been booked as a guest. I am not loitering. Yes. You've been racially profiled. In, in <laughs> yes, I you, am you, black you, in America, you, yeah. Do you want to tell the story? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, it's basically oh. uh, on my birthday, I was kicked out of a cafe in Berkeley, California for talking to my wife. Uh, my wife is white, so obviously it's my fault. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> they told me that somebody knocked on the window of the cafe and was like, get out of here, because they thought I was harassing my wife, which legally you're able to do. I'll harass you. Till death do us part. Exactly, yeah, yeah. When racism happens, even if it happens quickly, you still get this racism gift that you get to take home until your house is filled with racism. And every time you go home, even though you want to relax, you're like, oh, look at all this racism I got in here. Which right. is why there's this great thing now where black people and other people of color are tossing the racism back at people quickly. I mean, that was in Oakland where this white lady called the cops on the barbecue and people. Right. I don't know that three years ago she would have done that because she wouldn't have known that she had the backing of the White House, but now she does. By the way, Donald Trump is a racist. All right, keep uh, how do we fix racism? To fix racism for real, it takes a structural, like, like all the institutions have to be sort of destroyed, leveled, and rebuilt. But until we do that, public shaming is fine. I'm fine with public shaming. So th is that something that someone like me could do? Well, let me explain, white guy. Uh, uh, <laughs> see how comfortable I was? Did you touch me? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really coming along. <laughs> Here's, here's the problem with white guys like yourself, is that you, white people, like the, there was a woman at the thing in Oakland who was a white woman who stepped in and really sort of helped. She like yep. chased the woman down and she could do that because she was white. You've seen that woman, she wasn't hard to chase down. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you could have speed walked that woman down. <laughs> So, white people, you're all like a bunch of Clark Kents walking around pretending not to be Superman. Right. Your white skin gives you the ability to help out in these situations. If you publicly shame somebody, it really means something. Can a stereotype ever be a good thing? It's in the eye of the beholder. Right, because there's this stereotype that Australians are really good at cunnilingus and... It's a real, it's a, it's a real thing. I that, that's just, a, that's no, a common thing. It's that's a, a real thing a that women thing. are always saying. Australians are good at cunnilingus, and I'm like, just get to know me as a person. <laughs> you know, I um, you know, it is where the term down under comes from. <laughs> Now, now you, 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 you brought something to show us that I actually found very interesting. Well, I, if anyone would. Um, but the Red Cross brought out, be cool, follow the rules. And these are things that apply for swimming pool rules. Yes, so it's a pool safety poster that tells kids how to be cool at the pool. If you notice, like the green arrows is like these two white people right here, this green arrow is a white person over here. And then most of the red arrows that are saying not cool are pointing at black and brown bodies. So it's telling kids that most of the rule breakers are black and brown people. And my favorite is this kid right here in the middle of the pool. He's just swimming with his mouth open. What's wrong with that? Well, yeah, He's too good at swimming, damn it! <laughs> Get him out of the pool! <laughs> I, th I think the point is, uh, I, you know, I don't want to say the cliche thing, but uh, you're not born racist. It's a taught thing. Yeah. You, you can have your Ten Commandments. You can have all your f***ing... You can go onto Instagram and watch all your quotes. And The simple thing in life is don't be a c***. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, right? <laughs>